This is SAT 3310, Scripting for Administration and Automation. Today we're going to be talking about working with web and network and, and scripting in Python. Uh, what I'd like to talk about with Python is this idea of extending uh, Python functionality by using Python modules. Recall that the, the Python module is the uh, cheese shop and what you can do is use uh, pip to install Python modules. You can also use uh, your just operating system commands, either like a yum or an apt-get or a dnf to install uh, Python modules directly onto your operating system. Some of the Python modules that I think are important uh, for talking about web and network, uh, the first one is erlib2. Uh, here's a, a link to go to the homepage for erlib2. Uh, this is just a module for fetching URLs. Uh, it's a very simple interface. Uh, you can use URL open. Uh, and it has other um, functionality like doing authentication or um, using cookies, that sort of thing. But really, it, it's, it's relatively simple to use. Again, uh, if you want to use just the URL open, it can be something as simple as response equals, and this is your module dot function, and then it's as simple as um, uh, the URL website, and then what you can do is then use another variable, I'm calling this one HTML, and it's the response dot read. So it's, it would be, if you put that all out on one line, it would be response equals URL lib to URL open, the URL dot read. Uh, but you can also break it up. I think it's much more manageable if you break it up this um, in this example. Um, so your HTTP response object is just basically a, a wrapper around it. So again, um, by splitting it up in this, this manner, you're saying it's response.read. Um, so you can actually, you, you could shorten it up dramatically by just saying HTML equals response.read. There's also an HTTP response get header, which is really nice. Um, it's going to return the, the header name um, of, uh, of the HTTP response. So another example would be uh, response status, your status code. Um, you've got a response reason. These are your, your 400 reasons or your 300 reasons. Um, Here's another module, URL open. Um, URL open has an info. Uh, this is really nice because you can do uh, a dictionary type object uh, with information on the, the URL or the page that you fetch. So you can do things like, um, say your info is just response.info. Uh, your header would be response info get header. Would, that would be all your headers, but let's say you just wanted the server type header. You could say server type is response.info.getheader of just the server type. Um, so this would be a, a real handy method of getting uh, server types uh, from a, a web server by using the URL. Another good module to be familiar with is the uh, CSV module. This uh, CSV recall stands for comma separated values. Uh, so you can use the CSV module to actually read any delimited type of file. Um, you can just by substituting whatever delimiter you want in the line. So the CSV module has a reader function and you would access it just by csv.reader the file name, the delimiter type that you want, and you can even include a um, character that is used to quote the data. Uh, if you're using, say, like uh, a single or double quoted character uh, around the data. So in this example, I'm saying um, websites is the CSV 
module using the reader function, I'm saying input file variable, and I'm saying a delimiter of type um, tab. This is a, a handy trick. Uh, if you're reading a file and you'd like to uh, skip a line, you can just use Python next and then the file handle. Uh, that's a, a really easy method for, say, skipping the first line of a file that is the header data. Uh, another uh, good module to use in Python is called the collections module. Uh, this is a, a specialized container. Um, the, it's just really an alternative to the built-in Python containers uh, like your uh, dictionaries or list or tuples. So what you can do to use this uh, module is just import collections. Uh, one of the nice things about the collections module is that it has the counter function. Um, and this is a, a dictionary type subclass for counting your, your hashed objects. Uh, another really nice feature of the collections module is the uh, most common uh, function of the collections module. This returns the most common elements and the count. So it, it really is just a, a, a really simplified method of getting some nice results from uh, your hashable objects. Uh, so for example, you might say um, collections module uh, count by using the counter function of some list. And then you could even say, just give me the most common. Um, so this would give you like the, the top whatever out of that list uh, already counted and, and sorted in a, in a very nice presentable method. Uh, one more module to talk about with Python is the sys module. Uh, one of the things you can do with the sys module is uh, change your standard out uh, buffering with standard out dot flush. Uh, Python by default is going to be buffered. Uh, that means that it's not going to waste CPU cycles trying to update information on the screen. Um, unless you need it to. So if you were to say um, uh, sys standard out flush is going to flush the buffer, um, that's going to turn off buffering, uh, which is a handy feature if you need rapid updates to your standard out. 